Good morning, and we are back here on the farm. And I'm on the other side of my road, and this is Sam's Lake Road. Um, and I actually own about 30 feet on the other side of the road to this fence, and then my property's down there. Um, and I wanted to show you what, I, what I'm lining basically my road with. On one side, I've got the uh, bamboo, just on, just on my property. And then on the other side, I have, anybody know what this is? It's a fruit tree. Yeah. Um, basically, I bought one of them. Um, and then the rest of them, I found out that I could um, get from underneath a tree um, locally, close by when I go walking. And these are loquats. And I have them basically lined, and I've got them irrigated too. Uh, I turned the irrigation on, and this is the highest point uh, for the water to come. And the water is not up here as of yet. So there's the irrigation right in here. Uh, so the water isn't coming up yet. And here's here's some baby ones that I, that, that I put in you know, about a year ago. And uh, they're very finicky. They they seem to grow best in the wintertime. In the summertime, they, they have to be established or they won't make it. So I've got them all lined up here. I just I just mowed this the other day. Uh, and I've got them, there you go, there's one right there. Um, str uh, struggling, making it though. Um, and these bigger ones have been around for, uh, you know, like a year and they've been established. I don't even have to water them anymore. These are, uh, they're also called Japanese plum. Um, here's, here's one that's doing uh, uh, well, because I had them basically about 20 feet apart and I thought, you know what, I can, I can sneak in another one. So I put it in 10 feet apart. The idea is these big ones, I don't, I don't irrigate them. However, um, uh, one, once basically they get established, I can then take the irrigation out or stop the irrigation and I've got it so that I can just twist it on or twist it off. Um, let me show you that real quickly. And this, I think this is the one that I, that I bought and, and actually produced this year. I had two or three of them. And this one, this one actually produced. Um, and I, I have basically three weeks of, of food. Uh, three weeks of food. Three weeks where I, I, I can come out here and have like maybe 10. I could have breakfast if I wanted to. So, um, yeah, let me get to, to one of these that, that has the twist off. Uh, let's go down a little bit farther. Uh, another established ones. The idea is to keep them about the height of my, for me to pick. Um, and then, you know, above I've got some lines, so I don't want them to get too high. Because uh, these will get up to be like 30, 40 feet high. All right, so here we go. Here, here it is right here. And, and if I want to get in closer, and you can see, you can twist this on and off. And I twist it on and off, and the water has not come up this far yet today. I do can I, I can hear the uh, the air. Now I twist it, and, and the idea is that the more I twist it down, the less water comes out. The less I twist it. So let's let's work our way down here, and I think maybe the water has actually come to some some areas, some parts. Uh, this one, uh, yeah. So this one, here we go. This one is actually it's wet right now. So do you see the water? Yeah, get in there. So the water's coming. And basically it's just building pressure to the point where it will make it up to the highest point. Now, I'm gonna turn this just a little bit so that water will come out. He'll give a drip line um, and, and give the little ones some water. And also uh, the bigger ones I don't, I don't have it on. And so, Back to this one, the water hasn't come up to this bar yet. And that is here on the farm.